Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, and we're here with your morning announcements. If you attended prom and happened to misplace any items, come to the front office or the leadership room to claim them. Speaking of lost items, Wolfpack Performing Arts production of Cinderella has its opening night April 21st. There will be showings through the 23rd at 7 p.m. and the 28th to the 30th at 7 p.m. and another show at at 2 p.m., which will only be done on the 30th. Tickets are on sale for $10. Scan the QR code shown to purchase tickets. Attention sophomores and juniors. If you're considering an EGUSD satellite course, join the course catalog and join the Google Classroom code Q5EEODU. Attention seniors, tomorrow CRC Outreach Specialists will be in the Career Center during both lunches to help incoming community college students in navigating your student portal, completing requirements, and answering questions. The deadline for the OHC Family Community Service Scholarship is this Friday, April 15th. Go check your Synergy or go to Ms. Abby for more information. Hey Wolfpack, this week is Discover CO. Each day during both lunches, there will be fun activities and performances leading up to our first indoor food fair this Friday. You should have received a passport, which we will need for Friday. Each day you want to travel to the different stations to get your passport stamped. During both lunches, there will be a poly performance and lunchtime activities. Students will get another step opportunity for their passport. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's time to pass it on over to Paul and Ashley for your In the News update. Good morning, I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Paul Vargas, and we're here with your In the News update. The Sacramento Police Department has found three suspects of the gang-related shooting that happened in downtown around 2 a.m. on April 3rd, 2022. At least five gunmen, according to the police, were involved in the shooting that killed John Taya Alexander, Melinda Davis, Sergio Harris, Joshua Hoy Muchesi, Yamil Martinez Andrade, and Devazia Turner. Twelve other people were injured from the shooting, which occurred near the corner of 10th and K Street. 27-year-old Matula Payton has multiple felony warrants of domestic violence and gun charges and is yet to be taken into custody. The other two suspects, Smiley Martin and Dondre Martin, have been arrested for their direct involvement in the shooting. In Ukraine news, Finland and Sweden are considering applying for membership to NATO. They say their decision will be within the next couple of weeks. Other European presidents plan on traveling to Kyiv to meet with President Zelensky soon. In other news, recently Katanji Jackson was confirmed for the Supreme Court. She makes history as the first black woman to ever be confirmed on the Supreme Court. Here is Noah with information about the Sacramento City Unified School District. I'm Noah Seed and I'm here to give you the latest news on the Sacramento City Unified Teacher Strike. Teachers and other support staff from the Sacramento City Unified School District decided on Wednesday, March 23rd to start their strike. This comes after several unsuccessful attempts between the school district and the unions representing the staff were made to reach a new contract deal. In response to the potential strike, Superintendent Jorge Aguilar released a statement March 22nd stating, quote, if no agreement is reached this evening, all schools will be closed and tomorrow and until the strike comes to an end. I talked to two elementary school teachers in the district and they say, said that in order for future strikes to be prevented, they want to see better communication between the school district and its employees. In addition, they want more transparency. The teachers say that a major part of their frustration is that what little information they receive from the district isn't the entire truth. And they learn of new information at the same time as parents. 
Negotiations between the district and the various unions representing the teachers and support staff have been ongoing, and while a settlement was far from being reached according to KCRI 3 on March 29th, progress was being made after the students have been out of the classroom for five straight days. Teachers I spoke with at the at a rally I attended claimed that they aren't striking because of money, rather because of what they are calling a staff shortage and hiring crisis. They told me that Sac City Unified used to be a very competitive school district due to many aspects, but a, but a large factor was competitive benefits. Now many staff are leaving their jobs in the district to work for other districts such as San Juan Unified and our own Elk Grove Unified because of the pay and benefits are being offered are better. Every day, 3,000 students in the district go without a qualified credential teacher in their classroom, and 600 students that have signed up for independent study have yet to receive a day of instruction because of the lack of available teachers. However, Sunday, April 3rd, Sac City Unified finally reached a decision with both unions ending the strike and students returned to classrooms April 4th. Well, that's all I have for you today. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Noah. That's all we have for your In the News update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Paul and Ashley. Attention, Wolfpack. Red Cross Club is in need of hygiene products to distribute to homeless seniors, adults, and families who visit our family shelter and Francis House Center. Items should, inclu items should include toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, lotion, shampoo, sanitary napkins, brushes, combs, hand sanitizer, nail cleaning supplies, shaving supplies, etc. We accept travel size, standard size, or partly used products, except for toothbrushes, razors, combs, or brushes. Please drop them off at Ms. Fonton's room in HB3. Just a reminder that Ms. Saragoza will be holding library office hours during both lunches today through May 6th as well as May 20. 23rd through May 25th for students who are having issues with their Chromebooks. Students may also call the Student Support Help Desk at 916-686-0245. Please don't come to the Student Services for technology help. Any issue with Wi-Fi, passwords, etc. should be addressed with, with Ms. Gar uh, so, uh, for, or the Help Desk. Obvious damage to Chromebooks, such as water damage, broken screens, or missing keys can be brought to the health office for exchange. CO's Community Club is hosting a food drive from April 11th to May 16th. Drop off any canned or non-perishable food items to the culinary classroom for a chance to earn a CO ticket. Five students who donate the most items will also earn a Dutch Bros drink. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Sammy Bringus. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National, National Scramble, Scramble Day, Day, Wolfpack. <laughs> Wolfpack. <laughs>